If you're writing an argumentative essay in a business or management discipline, if you're trying to persuade somebody to a point of view, you've got to sketch in the background to your paper and your, your problem uh, in more detail than is necessary in the sciences. Uh, you've got to say uh, what the context is and how your particular problem comes to be worthy of your effort. Why it is that anyone should read about this particular thing. And that usually takes more words uh, in the introduction than you'll see in a scientific paper. And the standards there relate much more to the readability of the uh, introduction uh, and to its uh, links with other areas of uh, current controversy and in interest, and also uh, simply to the value of the work that you're proposing to, uh, to do. The second thing that's significant is a difference between scientific papers and those that are more oriented towards humanities matters uh, relates to the method. The method in the sciences is not controversial within a science paper. Uh, it is controversial in, in other areas, I and mean, the philosophy of science is a great discipline, and a part of that is the discussion of methodologies, and that, that is a, a controversial matter. But when you come to write a paper, be it in the pure sciences or in the social sciences, typically you're investigating, you're looking at some facts in the world that you are going to identify for us. Consequently, the methodology uh, is pretty settled. Uh, you're adopting or using a method that comes from the work of others. Uh, all you've got to do is to identify that method uh, precisely, say something about its current use, say something about the origin of that method, its philosophical um, underpinnings, and then off you go. Now, all of that gets done in one short paragraph, uh, because people that are in the sciences already know about the methods, uh, and so there's not much work to be done there. When you get to the humanities disciplines, there is more debate and more openness with regards to what you're doing. And in actual fact, the standards that you're using uh, might be described as the standards of philosophy and you need to know what they are, and they relate to logical argument, uh, they, they relate to the way that you convey uh, and make uh, your points, and to the overall flow within your paper. In other words, there needs to be a high level of readability uh, for your paper, and it needs to be genuinely persuasive. So those standards uh, are not the same as the standards that the scientists must work to. Uh, I think probably in all things considered, it's actually much easier to do a paper in the social sciences than it is to do one that is in uh, relation to some uh, argument that you want to mount uh, about a, a practical or maybe a theoretical matter. 